First, let's download the update set to prepare everything on the ServiceNow side. I'll simply open the file and save it from the GitHub. We'll click Save As and save it on the desktop. Now, let's open the ServiceNow instance. Here I have a development instance and navigate to Retrieved Update Sets. Now, click the Import Update Set from XML and choose the update set that we just downloaded from GitHub. We'll open and upload it here. Now let's check that the update set doesn't break anything. Success. And now let's commit the update set. Great. So the update set is now committed and we should have a React App container ready in the ServiceNow instance. Let's check if that's true. And yes, we have the React container. So let's go to the Application Studio and see what's inside the, the application. Here we have the React app. The structure of the application is very simple. All it has is two things. Uh, first is the UI page that serves as an index.html file in any web application and scripted REST APIs, which serve as containers for assets, images, and JavaScript bundle. Uh, the code in all of these resources basically does the same conceptual thing. It serves the attachment, a file that is attached to this resource record. So what we'll do to deploy the application is simply drag and drop JavaScript to this resource, images to the images resource, and other assets to the assets resource. And put the index.html content right here. 